All right, I have the 2021 version of the MacBook Pro, which I'm going to be unboxing. It comes with the new uh, chips that Apple has introduced. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I'm just going to take my knife and slice it at the bottom. You can see the Apple logo on the side. On the front, it just shows a picture of the MacBook Pro. It says MacBook Pro on the back side right there and I'm just gonna go ahead and take the nice plastic wrap that Apple has put on to the packaging and I'm gonna put this to the side and then now I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the box nice sturdy box right here I almost want to keep this for something but really should just toss it all right, so now I have the MacBook Pro in here. Seems heavier than the previous versions of uh, MacBook Pros, but I could be wrong. I have to look at the specs on that. So it comes with a nice tab to pull it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this tab right here. Pull it out. It has some weight to it. It's not the lightest of books, MacBook Pros, that I've seen. There's definitely some weight on it. I want to say it weighs a little bit more than the previous version, but I'll have to check on that. So here's the MacBook Pro, but before I unwrap all of this, I want to say that there are some things inside that you might want to check out, like the Mag Connect that Apple has went back to. We'll check that out. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this out for a second, and I'm going to go ahead and take the wrapper from off of The MacBook Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Toss that as well. Alright, so here is the MacBook Pro. Right there. You know the focus keeps on going in and out. Let me just go ahead and fix that for a second. Hold your horses right there. See if that fix it fixes it a little bit. Alright. So this is the Mac. I'm gonna go ahead and let you get a look at this. So this is the MacBook Pro, it's the Apple on the outside. I have to get some uh, a cover for this to protect the shell. Let's flip it on the back side. Of course, this is MacBook Pro on the bottom. Nice. A little bit different. And one thing I want you to look at is on the side, let me go ahead. Getting a little closer so you can see that. It has the MagSafe where you can connect, and then there are the USB C ports. There's two of them on this side right here. Getting a little closer so you can see that. There's two of them on the side right here, as well as the audio port. I'm going to go on the other side. There is an SD card reader, so it eliminates the problem of having to get an SD card um, adapter to go along with your MacBook Pro. And here is a third USB-C port right here. And I believe this right here is the HDMI port that many people have wanted Apple to bring back. And fortunately for those people, they brought back the US, excuse me, the HDMI port. All right, so you have that. So on the outside, it has a squarish look to it. It has a little bit of weight to it for the MacBook Pro. Uh, the fan has a slot for fan, so pushes the air in and out, I believe, from out of this part right here. And we're just going to go ahead and open this up. And it looks like there's other slots right here for fan intake, perhaps, on both sides grippy pads at the bottom and let's go ahead and open this up all right so i'm gonna go ahead and open this up to take a look at it all right and on the inside well though it had some depth to it when i opened it up it's automatically starting up and here is the macbook pro 
starting up right here. The screen comes on. And the keyboard, it has a little bit of weight to it. So I'm not going to go through all of the setup that's on the screen, but essentially it comes up as your typical, um, as any Apple product would. English is the main language. Press the return key. So it wants you to select the main language that you want. I'm just going to go ahead and guess, say it's English. And I'm going to go forward. I'm not going to go through the setup. I'm just going to have you look at the keyboard. The keyboard is nice uh, right here. It has, one thing I noticed about the keyboard, the buttons actually go down a little bit more so it makes it feel as if you're actually pressing a button and not just a pad. Uh, a little bit different right here. Here is the uh, ID, the fingertip ID for logging on at the corner. Alright, I'm not going to set it up quite yet, but I'm going to talk about a little bit of the hardware. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this down so uh, she quits talking to me. And we're going to take a look at what's inside. So inside right here, you have the looks like instruction manual. Looks like designed by Apple in California. Looks like some more warnings and whatnot. A lot of material that you would prefer to read while in the bathroom sitting. Looks like some Apple stickers are inside. You can see those Apple stickers. I'm not going to pull those out. As much as you all want to see the stickers, I'm just going to save you. So here are some of the warnings. That nature shows a little bit about the Thunderbolt, USB-C port, or not headphone jack, all of the things that I just recently talked to you all about. And inside is the adapter, which is remarkably heavier than the previous adapters. I can tell right away it has some weight to it and I guess this is for the power users which the computers are more demanding than some of the different versions of the MacBook. Slides open like this, slide it off like that. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. Definitely heavier, one thing to note. So you're going to be carrying around some weight when you carry around this computer. I was wondering why the package was so heavy because of that and the computer itself. And then inside, we have the Mac Safe. We have the Mac Safe connector for the power. And I'm guessing because of the Mac Safe, go ahead and rip this out gently, but effectively. Um, because of the MagSafe, maybe it requires the adapter to have more weight, but it's definitely some more weight than the previous version where it did not have the MagSafe charger. So I'm guessing that it is some of the trade-offs. You have to give a little bit to gain a little bit. I'm guessing people wanted the MagSafe connector. And in my opinion, I was okay with the USB-C charging port, the MagSafe. I mean, are you really tossing around, tripping around your power cables like that to where you need the MagSafe? Are you? Or perhaps some people are just complaining. It snaps into place just like that. It is pretty cool, though. But is it really that crucial? Um, I don't think so. But that's just my opinion. So have this right here, plugs it in, right there in the MagSafe with the charger. And that is the unboxing. I can go through all of the, I can go through all of the um, setup, but I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory. I'll just take it through United States. All right, so. It has all this right here, you know, the typical thing. But that is the unboxing of the new MacBook Pro by Apple.